The objective of this case is to evaluate the effect of introducing flue gas condensation on makeup water use and Directive 81 performance. Flue gas is often rejected to the atmosphere at a very high temperature of roughly 200 Celsius. A large portion of this high quality energy can be recovered using these technologies. Feed water preheater, standard economizer, air preheater, condensing economizer. If a carbon capture plant is to be used in a SAG-D facility, the flue gas should be cooled before being sent to the amine-based carbon capture. Now let's add a flue gas condensation to the base case template. This allows for recovered water to be recycled back to the WLS. Now let's run the case and fill the following table found on screen. Let's take a look at the property view for the make of water source. Now let's enter the Outlook Streams tab. Let's change the units for the mass flow rate to tons per day. Let's take a look at the reports. Now let's open the Water Balance tab. Here, the values for both D81 disposal limit and D81 actual disposal are determined. Let's look at the OTSG Drum Boiler Water Quality TDS. Click on the Inlet Stream tab to find the Water Quality TDS. Let's take a look at the property view for Glycol 1. The Glycol duty is determined here. Let's take a look at the results found in the table on screen. Adding flue gas condensation and recycling the recovered water reduces makeup water flow by 36%. However, the performance of Directive 81 is worsened. The actual disposal is calculated from total disposal divided by the sum of fresh water, brackish water, and produced water. In the case with flue gas condensation, makeup water flow is reduced while everything else in the equation has remained the same. Therefore, actual disposal has increased. As the recovered water from flue gas is clean with no contaminants, adding flue gas condensation allows the increase in blowdown recycle rate while maintaining the BFW quality as in the base case. Let's complete the third column in the table found on screen. Let's increase the blowdown recycle rate by adjusting the split ratio in the blowdown splitter until TDS content of the BFW approximately matches the base case. Let's run the case. Now let's head to the OTSG drum boiler property view. Let's take a look at the water quality TDS found in the inlet stream tab. There is still room for further increase of the recycle rate. Let's take a look at the blowdown splitter and adjust the split ratio to 0.33 for the second iteration. Now let's run the case again. Let's take another look at the BFW TDS content. Let's head to the Inlet Streams tab. Now the BFW TDS content value is close to that of the base case. Now let's take a look at the results in the table found on screen. In situ sim enables users to quickly evaluate important KPIs related to a SAG-D CPF with little effort. 